Hi, I'm Seth MacFarlane, and if you like Family Guy, you're gonna love my new movie, Ted. Mila Kunis is in it, and she's way hotter than Meg. Ted was originally an idea for an animated series that I uh, came up with and, and shelved for a while. Um, and when it came time, time to do my first movie, it seemed like the perfect premise. I wish you could really talk to me. You're my best friend, John. I love you. In large part, because the technology had reached the point with Avatar, with Lord of the Rings, where you could create a character like Ted and have him seem very real and not have to use like a hand puppet or a marionette or something. I'll take him away to dinner. You don't think she's gonna be expecting something big, do you? It's been four years, Johnny. You and me have been together for 27 years. Where's my ring? Huh? Where's my ring? What are all my fuzzy fingers? Where's my ring? Knock it off. I know, I'm just saying. The first live action film from Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane is Ted. That's my bad, I was sending a tweet. MacFarlane voices Ted. Thomas, how are you? Mark stars in Ted. When I heard the concept of the movie, I said, you know what, this is not for me, but then my agent convinced me to read the script. And I loved it, and then I sat with him for an hour, and you know, we clicked right away. Hey, Johnny, how about a beer, huh? Ooh, couple Charles Bukowski's? Couple of Bruce Doyevsky's? Maybe a Mike Brugoslowski? Perhaps a Teddy Bruski? That's a good one. You can just tell, you know, when somebody gets it, they know what they want and they know how to execute. Um, Cause I've been in a room with a lot of people that are just kind of trying to convince themselves that they know what they're going to do and how they're going to execute it. But uh, you could tell pretty pretty quickly with Seth that he knew what he was doing. You know what, I think I too want a Martina Never to Bruski. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 that no. doesn't no, work. No, 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 don't ruin it, no. That totally works. No, no. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't the name work. has to have a ski at the end of it, and you just put brewski at the end of Martina Navasolova, so. Well, I just thought we were saying funny names. No, no, it has, it has to have a ski at the end of it, otherwise, where's the challenge? It was one of those things where people either got to get it right away or 30 minutes and they're going to be like, is this is it supposed to be real? Do other people see him? Uh, but no, people, people go for the ride, you know? It's awesome. This place is a wreck. Who are these girls? Oh, God, where are my manners? Uh, uh, Laurie, this is uh, Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sylvan Young Block. Seth not only called for shots on Ted, he is the voice of Ted. Hollywood One on One shows you how Ted talks. Hey, you're home early. This place is a wreck. Who are these girls? You know, they're hookers, so it's fine. What the hell is this? Oh, my God, where are my manners? Laurie, this is Angelique. Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. I love you girls. You know, somewhere out there are four terrible fathers I wish I could thank for this great night. And it was a big thing for me when I was making this movie. I really wanted people to forget early on that what they were looking at was a talking teddy bear. I wanted them to think of Ted as just another Boston guy, like John's character, like a Mark's character. The four of us out to dinner, how long have we been saying we were gonna do it? Laurie, how are you doing? I, I haven't talked to you in forever. I'm good, I'm good. Um, the company's having their 20th anniversary party next week, so Ooh. that's something. Company's turning 20, I say you can bang it, but you can't get it drunk. <laughs> Right? She gets it. She loves my humor. She gets it. She gets. She enjoys my humor. And I think that worked. We, the, the two special effects houses, Tippett and Elora, that generated the bear, just did some groundbreaking work uh, as far as the realism of this, of this, um, of this character. So Tammy Lynn, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, where are you from? I'm always fascinated to meet Ted's girlfriend. What do you mean, girlfriend? Was it like a lot of them or something? It's, it's the hardest thing we've ever written. Uh, a, a feature script is infinitely, to me, infinitely more difficult than writing a half hour of television. Yeah, well, I meant to say Ted's very handsome, so I'm just interested in meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? What? With a show like Family Guy or really any sitcom, I suppose, this probably goes for shows like Seinfeld as well. You can be a little loose with the story at times. If you have a lot of really great jokes 
You can tread a little bit of water with the story, and you're only taking up 22 minutes, so you're fine. I don't want to work at a grocery store. But you have no skills. I, I told you I can totally be a lawyer. Yeah. As I said, you would need a law degree from a law school. No, no, not necessarily. I'm a talking teddy bear, for Christ's sake. They, may, they look at me and they go, oh, this guy's hilarious. Let's hire him to the firm. Maybe he give us a few laughs. And then they'd say, oh, my God, he can deliver. He's actually quite a litigator. With the movie, no matter how funny you are, you really do also have to have that story arc that people are invested in because they're sitting in that room for an hour and a half. I look stupid. No, you don't. You look dapper. Obviously, Ted is unlike any movie Mark's ever done and really any part he's ever done. I still have some action in here and, uh, you know, I have a great fight sequence in the movie, uh, chase sequence, um, climbing over stuff, jumping over some stuff. Sometimes I think back to that Christmas morning when I was eight years old. I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. No! Why are you crying? It's tough. It's squished by the TV. I play a very different character. My character had never been in a physical altercation until he has to punch this 12-year-old boy in the face. Ted, you gotta move out. Now, I'll help you get on your feet out there, I promise. Bring it in, you bastard. Come on. I love you. Sorry, that's the, um, the, thing, the thing. The I'm old... Not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I... He's a sweet guy. He's not the edgy characters that people used to be seeing. I've uh, seen me play. And action. And even better than that, you'll see the artist formerly known as Marky Mark. Singing and dancing. I hate it. I don't mind it in the shower or singing in my car. I was, you know, belting out an Adele song, uh, song this morning on the way to work. But um, I just, I don't know, it feels silly. Thunder Buddies for life, right, Johnny? Right. Come on, let's sing the thunder song. When, when you, you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared. Just, just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. People love it, so, you know, I mean, what do I know? My judgment is shot. Yeah, I met a girl. Nice. She's a cashier. And if your judgment says, see a movie named Ted with a dancing mark and a talking bear, then, well, enjoy. Okay, all right, so that's where we'll draw the line.